marry me. Did you know that 42% of marriages end in divorce? We want you to read for the character of D-Ray. Can you be more like Will Smith? Basketball season of 305. This was a nail biter until the very end. Husky Mag starts right now. It's like a Russian call me by your name with a lesbian subplot. Madeline DiNono, Chair of the TV Academy Board of Directors. Welcome to the College Television Awards. Tonight, we are recognizing excellence in student production nationwide. For the first time, we're coming to you virtually. We hope all of you and your families are staying safe and healthy. For over 60 years, the Television Academy Foundation has provided the next generation of television leaders with proven pathways into the industry through our very successful internship program, faculty training, networking, and professional development. Tonight, we celebrate the 40th anniversary of the College Television Awards, which has yielded many winners who have gone on to very successful careers in TV, working for companies like HBO, Netflix, CBS, Shondaland, and many more. We're so proud to honor all of our 90 student storytellers chosen from 374 entries from 17 different colleges and universities. Each winning team tonight will receive a cash prize of $3,000. And we're excited to present the winner of the Laureen Arbus Focus on Disability Scholarship with a $10,000 award. This is the 10th year that we are presenting this scholarship thanks to Laureen, a true champion of people with disabilities and their representation on screen. We thank you so much for your continued support of these talented students. And one of our winners also will receive the Seymour Bricker Humanitarian Award, an additional $4,000 cash prize from the Bricker family to honor the winning piece that best represents a humanitarian cause. Thank you also to all of our partners who have helped bring this evening to life, especially People, Creative Artists Agency, the Johnny Carson Foundation, Film LA, Kia, Stars, Technicolor, Warner, and United Airlines. Finally, a big thanks to our TV Academy family, Frank Sherma, Maury McIntyre, Heather Cochran, and the Academy's marketing and awards teams for their support and expertise. And of course, we give a shout out to our education committee and the foundation board and staff. To all of our viewers who are tuning in from around the globe, you can learn much more about the foundation and please consider making a donation to support our efforts to continue to help students in these very uncertain times. You can learn more by clicking below. Congratulations to all of our nominees. You are the future of the TV industry and we'll all be working for you one day. Thank you, Madeline, and good evening, everyone. My name is Albert Lawrence, and I'll be your host tonight. A little about me. I'm a proud Yale graduate and a host, actor, producer, content creator. Short answer, I'm a storyteller. And back in 2005, I was an intern with the Television Academy Foundation. I can speak firsthand to the incredible resources and community that the foundation provides to storytellers on the brink of their professional careers. That is why they created the College Television Awards. Above all, it's about recognizing the next generation of television talent across genre. And right now, that next generation is you. Thank you to all the nominees for joining not just me, but all of your peers, mentors, colleagues, sponsors, and viewers out there who have tuned in to support you and all of your incredible work at the 2020 College Television Awards. I'm just gonna come out right and say it because we all know it. This year is obviously very different. It's not better, 
It's a lot weirder, but if my suit is any indication, I want you to know we are all treating this ceremony with just as much respect and excitement as we would if we were all in Los Angeles together. And I know the joke is, well, are you even wearing pants? Well, for you, the nominees and honorees of the 2020 College Television Awards, the answer is yes. Yes, I am. But I'm not just wearing pants. I'm wearing pool pants, couch pants, and host pants. <laughs> I'm wearing three pairs of pants, and that is a lot of respect and admiration right there. And also, it's very warm. Now, I of course thought wearing three pairs of pants was the best way to pay tribute to all of you, but someone just had to outdo me. And that someone is one of our generous partners, Kia Motors America. During this time of crisis, Kia is stepping up and underwriting the $3,000 awards for each of the eight genre categories tonight. They're leaders in their own industry, and they want all of you to become leaders in yours. And now, I'm excited to introduce our first presenters of the evening. Here to honor the nominees and winner of the College Television Award in Nonfiction or Reality, please welcome Drew and Jonathan Scott, hosts of HGTV's Property Brothers Forever Home. Hey everyone, we're so excited to be here and honored to be kicking off the awards for tonight. And since the category is nonfiction and reality, we thought it would be a good time to do a quick reality check with you. Yeah, Drew and I believe so much in hard work and staying positive, but when you're faced with something as strange and difficult as the unknown, sometimes staying positive feels false, which is a negative. Yeah, we can't change the situation we're all in. We can't give you any kind of answers or guarantees, but what we can give you is a little bit of hope. So let's start with reality check number one. There will still be an entertainment industry when this is all over. Absolutely, we want you to hear this. You guys have worked your butts off at school and there will be opportunities. In fact, there may be even more opportunities than before because Hollywood is gonna be hungry for fresh content. Drew and I, even working from home right now, have been busier than ever. So that brings me to reality check number two. Never in the history of the world has storytelling ever been canceled. Yeah, people have been through earthquakes, famines, pandemics, and we have never stopped telling stories. And yes, this may be a little bit difficult, it may be different right now, but this brings us to reality check number three, you will adapt. Yeah, you're all young, educated, light on your feet. Look, you're here on Zoom, waiting in virtual wings to accept very real awards. You've already adapted. So that brings me to reality check number four, you are definitely not peaking right now. No, definitely not. Weirdly, even Jonathan hasn't peaked yet, so. Well, you, you better hope I don't peak anytime soon, Drew, because as my younger twin, you would be peaking exactly four minutes right after me. Yeah, yeah that's true, that's horrible. Anyway, bottom line, everybody, and the final reality check, you've got this. Let's take a look at our nominees. The nominees for nonfiction or reality series are Bags to Butterflies, Olivia Hoover, Kendall Westfield, Michigan State University. Bags to Butterflies is a social enterprise. The handbags mean employment for formerly incarcerated women. To me, it represents remaking my life, rebuilding my life. Dirty Business. Utah Chen, Francesca Fenzi, University of California, Berkeley. All the recycling businesses are really, really dirty businesses. It's very easy to kind of look and say, this is really terrible, oppressive, dirty business. One Nation Under Guns, the team from Ithaca College. Every day, I think, where is my exit? How do I get out of this classroom if there were to be a shooter in this building? And I shouldn't have to think about that. I should just be able to go, know that I'm safe, and be able to get an education. And the winner is Dirty Business. Dirty Business. Yu Tao Chen, Francesca Fenzi, University of California, Berkeley. Well, first, first of all, I just want to thank um, the Television and Academy Foundation for, for making the virtual event happen. I really appreciate that. And also for this such great recognition. And I want to thank my colleague, uh, Francesca Fanzi. I could not 
um, ask for a better colleague working on this project. And I want to thank the support from UC Berkeley Graduate School of Journalism. I want to thank Richard Cochi Hernandez, Jeremy Rue, John Temple for their guidance and support. And also, I want to thank my uh, partner, Mei Ying, who's uh, here right now. And I really just appreciate her support along the way. And uh, that's it. Uh, congratulations to me and to Francesca. Please welcome the host of NBC's Tonight Show, the one and only Jimmy Fallon. Hi, I'm Jimmy Fallon, and I just want to say hello to everyone around the world who are currently live streaming this or however you're watching it. I'm honored to be here, and congratulations to the College Television Awards student nominees. You guys are the best of the best. Congrats. Uh, I'm here to give the award for best variety, but before I show you the nominees, I just wanted to say how well I think you're all dealing with all of this that the world is going through right now. And I'm in awe of you because I think in college I wouldn't have had the patience or the maturity that you guys have. And really, you're setting a great example for all of us. You know, sometimes you can't do what you normally would do and so you have to think of different ideas and different, create different paths, forge different paths to get to your destination and you're doing that. And I can't wait to see the big ideas that you're all gonna come up with, class of 2020. You're doing it right now. Just write it down, start working on it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Congratulations to all you guys. Congrats to the class of 2020. Now here are the nominees for best variety. The nominees for variety are the 38th annual Evie Awards. The team from Emerson College. Find other people who do their own thing and surround yourself with them. Smart ones, loving ones, honest ones, people who challenge you, people who teach you. Cuss, the Columbia University low budget sketch show. The team from Columbia University. College walk. College walk. College walk. Stretch your stuff, Jimmy. Let me see you do that. College walk. College walk. Thursday Night Live, the team from Hofstra University. We're orphans. Do you know what an orphan is? Oh, yeah, like the ones at SeaWorld? <laughs> are you kidding? Those are dolphins. And the winner is... Thursday Night Live, Hofstra University, yay! Enjoy, everyone, congratulations. Bye. Thursday Night Live, the team from Hofstra University. Thank you so much to the Television Academy Foundation for this incredible honor. Thursday Night Live truly takes an army. And first, I'd like to thank my other TNL nominees, Sean McNally, Michael O'Rourke, Caroline Lee, Sydney Pastor Poe, Sean Morgan, Robin Deering, Joe Ritter, Ben Fletcher, and The Wave and M, as well as TNL's writers, packages team, cast, crew, and everyone at the Heat Network. Thank you to all of our families, to TNL's creator, Joe Lombino, to Dr. Peter Gershon, Professor Jeff Tarson, Dean Adrian Marlowe, Dean Mark Lukashevitz, and everyone at the Hostel Lawrence Herbert School of Communication. We could not have done this without any of you. Thank you so much. This is the front door. Here's the living room. The hallway that takes us to... The kitchen. The bedroom. Oh, and of course, where we spend most of our time. The backyard. From the hit docu-series, Cheer, on Netflix, please welcome Gabby Butler. Hey everyone, it's me, Gabby Butler, and I'm here to present the College Television Awards for sports. Of all the genres represented here tonight, I think sports is the most fundamental. It's all about discipline, showing up, and above all, supporting your teammates even when you're not all together. When it comes to sports broadcasting, you all know something about analyzing sports from the outside. Today, you're going to see my sport from the inside. All right, so here we go. Ooh. 
And the nominees for the College Television Award for Sports are... The nominees for sports are... Husky Mag Top 50, Sam Getzinger, Parker Kayser, Greg Spath, St. Cloud State University. No puck is getting past them, helping out the netminder a little bit there. Sometimes the goalie can't do it all by himself, right? They need a little backup sometimes, and Rennick gets it. He's got a lot of bodies out front, and they keep it out of the net. Sports Desk, the team from University of Miami. The school board brought legislation to the table in 2014. Based on the survey and costs, drug testing in high school athletics never actually happened, leaving many to wonder if this issue will ever be controlled. Sports Extra, Adrian Kane Walker, University of North Carolina. All the Quidditch played on campuses around the country might not have the acrobatics we see in Harry Potter. The sport has athleticism not everyone can match. Don't let the brooms fool you. Quidditch is not for the faint-hearted. The winner is General Sports Desk. Sports Desk, the team from University of Miami. First, I'd like to thank God for this amazing blessing uh, in our life and our amazing families for supporting us throughout the way. Uh, I'd also want to thank the Tele Television Academy Foundation for putting on another great year of events for us nominees and giving us an another honor. Uh, I'd also like to thank Miami School of Communication for providing us with the resources and staff like our faculty advisor, Ed Jolby. Uh, without him, we literally would not have a show. Our show doesn't hit the air without all the hard work of our UMTV engineers. Uh, and of course, our amazing cast and crew, we push you guys to the bone and it's for this reason we do it. Uh, we, we're only the sum of our parts and without y'all, we wouldn't be here today. Y para nuestra familia que no habla inglés, gracias por todo su apoyo durante las nuestras vidas. Y muchas gracias por venir a este país a donde nosotros podemos tener una voz libre. Gracias. Thank you, everyone. Here to present our next award, please welcome from CBS's The Neighborhood, Tashina Arnold. Hi, everyone. It's Tashina. Well, I'm just going to come right out and say it. You all got a bump deal. You all worked hard on your projects. You got yourselves nominated for a college television award, and now you're stuck at home? Trust me, I've been feeling it too. As many of you know, I am hilarious. And I've had a really hard time with nobody here to laugh at my silly antics until now. <laughs> I just ordered this off the internet and believe me, it was worth it. See, thanks to this little device, I'm thriving, I'm winning. <laughs> but there is nothing wrong with getting a little taste of self-esteem right here in this button. Huh? See, with this button, I could even do the neighborhood from home. I wouldn't even have to do a lot of takes. I would nail it every time. Mm. Uh, uh, did you hear that? That was a standing ovation. The nominees for the College Television Award for Comedy Series are... The nominees for Comedy Series are... Balk, Ben Gottlieb, Jennifer Kaiser, Mary McCune, Gabriel Wilson, Columbia University. The plan is, we call his mom, right? And we're like, hey, we got your kid. You better let him play the game. What if that doesn't work, huh? We might have to kill him. Snowball, Amber O'K, Paul Reve, Brittany Roker, Chapman University. We want you to read for the character of D-Ray. Can you be more like Will Smith? Have you seen The Wire? We're looking for a Jamie Foxx type. Thank you. They Won't Last. Richard C. Bailey. Brandon Gale. Portland Tagabi. American Film Institute. Will you please, Christine, make me the happiest man on earth and marry me. Did you know that 42% of marriages end in divorce? Congratulations. They Won't Last. Richard C. Bailey, Brandon Gale, Portland Tagabi, 
American Film Institute. Hi, hi. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I wrote this down. Um, uh, we are so honored. Thank you so much. Um, first, I want to thank the uh, Television Academy Foundation for giving Young Voices this opportunity to be showcased and for putting this all together despite the challenges that the world is going through today. Um, I have to thank my Aunt Norma, who without her I would not be here. Um, and our whole team would like to thank our families and friends who support us not only emotionally but also financially. Um, I want to thank AFI for letting me into their program despite not having any live action experience whatsoever or any set experience and allowing me to grow to the point that I am now here at the college television awards. Um, and finally, I want to thank the cast and crew who really made this film what it is. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, we are so honored. Thank you so much. Hey, everyone. Albert again. You know, there are so many great things about the College Television Awards. The artistry, the camaraderie, the hundreds of industry professionals who believe in you, and of course, the awards themselves. And when Kia partnered with the Academy Foundation to underwrite the monetary awards for the eight genre categories, they did it knowing full well that it was an investment in the future. Because there is a future, and it is bright. Here to say hello is the president of Kia Motors America, Mr. Michael Cole. I'm happy to be here tonight to celebrate you, the storytellers who give it everything. At Kia, we believe in investing in the great unknowns and the not yet knowns. That's why we're partnering with the Television Academy Foundation to invest in you. Congratulations to all the College Television Award nominees and winners. Like many others, I think I'm qualified. I was president of my school's math honor society. I created a model, remote control, hydrogen powered car. Yeah, I developed an assistive gaming device for a student with cerebral palsy. I helped start the tutoring committee. We were helping these kids learn the math on these calculators. I want to most importantly mitigate climate change while encouraging girls and minority kids like me to pursue a future in STEM. I did this all while in school and while working several jobs. I keep pushing forward every day, trying to do my best and trying to make the world a better place. I continue to give it everything. And I really want to do the best for society. And that's why I give it everything. On behalf of myself and all the nominees here tonight, thank you so much, Michael and Kia Motors America. Up next, we're presenting the incredibly generous scholarship from our longtime partner, the Laureen Arbus Foundation. Here to honor the winner, please welcome the creator and star of This Close on Sundance, and also from ABC's Grey's Anatomy, Shoshana Stern.
the Lorene Arbus Focus on Disability Scholarship goes to Fort Irwin, Quinn Els, Mark Tarzali, American Film Institute. As military role players, we need your performances to train our soldiers for their worst day on the battlefield. The lessons our soldiers learn today can save limbs and may even save lives. Thank you to the Television Academy and the Lorraine Arbus Foundation for this award. It's an honor to be recognized for making a film about disabilities. And it is remarkable that the Television Academy consistently champions stories about the diversity of human experience. I'd also like to thank the American Film Institute Conservatory for helping me develop the film and for introducing me to my classmates, Mark Tarkzali, Ben Long, Yi Ching Yu, and Abraham El Raheb. You are my key creative collaborators. Thank you to the employees of the Fort Irwin National Training Center for letting us enter your world. I'd also like to thank my parents and brothers, who I love very much. And most importantly, I'm excited to share this award with our main actor, Christian Ballet, who gave a remarkable performance and is the heart of our film. Thank you. Congratulations to all of the nominees on your amazing, amazing work. All of your parents' money was worth it. It's a lot more fun if you win. But I didn't say that. It's just an honor to be nominated. Keep up the great work. You are the future of TV. We're waiting on a job. Yeah, come on, hire us. Get going. To present our next award, please welcome from the series All Rise and the First Wives Club, Ryan Michelle Bethay. Every year that the Academy Foundation hosts the College Television Awards, this category is always extremely competitive. The creativity, the production values, the implementation, and this year is no different. Every nominee featured here tonight absolutely nailed it. And just because commercials and public service announcements are only minutes, sometimes seconds long, this in no way makes them any easier to pull off. Whereas most television series or features have at least a half an hour or more to tell a story, you have about 30 seconds to have a hero, an art, and solve a problem. And of course, make it entertaining. Beyond being technical and storytelling achievements in and of themselves, commercials are also launching pads for so many professionals across all fields of media. In fact, my first job when I was only 10 years old was in a commercial. It was a public service announcement and it was glorious. <laughs> Let's take a look at the nominees. The nominees for commercial, PSA, or promo are... Crocs, Rock Them Crocs, Michael Hanks, Peter Molnar, Derek Trotman, Brigham Young University. Miguel, Reebok, Jacob Benjamin Knutson, Paul Monk, Pablo Isaac Perez, Bentley Rawl, Brigham Young University. Tú me recuerdas mucho de mí. Quizás por eso yo te presioné demasiado cuando llegamos aquí. No shame. Alice Aguiar, Cheyenne Lacani, Victoria Williams, Savannah College of Art and Design. This is my message. Remember to listen to your heart. Feel free to give or receive as you see fit. And the winner is Miguel Reebok. Miguel Reebok, Jacob Benjamin Knutson, Paul Monk, Pablo Isaac Perez, Bentley Rawl, Brigham Young University. All right, we want to thank the Television Academy, obviously, and an amazing cast and crew, kind of a skeleton crew, but uh, really proud of what we could do. Uh, Bentley, Sarah, Jake, Josue, um, Pablo Perez, and Pablo's uncle, who had to deliver a really heartfelt performance via voicemail and got it in one take. Thank you. Hi, my name is Oprah. I'm at the People Magazine cover shoot. It really does seem like the American dream. I am the sexiest man alive. I'm very flattered. It's going to be wild. Pick up your copy today. From Grey's Anatomy on ABC, please welcome Kelly McCreary. 
Hi everyone. First off, I want to congratulate all of the nominees in this category of drama series because you've actually done something really brave. As someone who works in this field, I know that in order to write a good drama or act in a good drama or even produce a good drama, you must allow a degree of vulnerability. Because even though the genre includes the big budget sweeping epics that, that take us to places all over the world, there is no drama without first traveling inward. The real work is done here first. So thank you all for putting yourselves out there. And as you head out into the professional sphere, which can definitely at times be as tear jerking and heartbreaking as the shows we make, remember to try to hold on to a little of that precious vulnerability. Because at the heart of this crazy industry, we are all storytellers. We are about opening ourselves up and exploring what it is to be human. Let's take a look at the nominees. The nominees for drama series are Balloon, Christina Cha, Jeremy Merrifield, Dave Testa, American Film Institute. An active shooter is loose in your school, but he is not in this classroom. What do you do? Okay, I don't want any heroes here. You run and you hide. Bang, bang, run, hide, go, hide, hide. Under Darkness, Nick Benjamin, Michael Orion Downing, Caroline Friend, Marissa Jane Lee, University of Southern California. Bata. Jetzt. Welcome back. Roy Arwas, Tiffany Contuyanis, Harley Perez Arevalo, University of Southern California. Te van a llevar. Claro que no. Tú y yo vamos a estar amarraditas para siempre. ¿Ok? Te lo prometo. And the winner is... Balloon. Christina Cha. Jeremy Merrifield. Dave Testa. American Film Institute. Hi there, thank you guys so much for this amazing, amazing um, honor. Um, uh, I have to thank the Television Academy for putting this event together, uh, especially given everything that's going on in the world right now. Um, and I am so proud of the people that helped make this film with me, especially uh, Christina Cha and Alex Peary. Uh, Kate Chimuris, this is a culmination of a long partnership with her. Uh, my co-writer, Dave Testa, my amazing cinematographer, Francis Kroon, uh, Jerry Marcini, our production designer, Bowie Yu, who led our amazing uh, post-production on this um, project, including our composer, Ali Helmline, our sound designer, Chris Smith, and our VFX team, of course, Chris, Christian Sankey uh, and um, uh, Reka Vivian Sabo. Uh, my cast, Jonah Barris, carries this film in it amazing way. I'm so thankful to uh, Paul Shear for being able to be a part of this project and my AFI family, Peter Markham, Barry Sabbath, uh, Patty West, uh, Richard Gladstein, Susan Ruskin, and of course my dear friend, uh, Ann Garofino, um, and my family, my mom, my dad, my brothers, and of course, uh, Michael James Scott. He was our angel on this project and he's my husband and I'm thankful for him. Here is my team with me right now. We're all watching this together. Thank you so much. Now, please welcome from the hit series, The Flash on the CW, The Flash himself, Grant Gustin. A lot of images come to mind when we think of the news. Of course, we think of speed, like a producer running into a live studio with a story or papers spinning hot off the presses. We think of power with terms like breaking news or blowing the lid off a story. It reminds us of what the news stands for, truth and integrity and reporting, bravery in the face of danger, and always protecting your sources. And it's not always that intense. At the end of the day, the news also makes us laugh and cry with a wide array of human interest. 
the operative word, of course, being human. Actually, now that I add it all up, speed, power, integrity, bravery, humanity, the people who make the news are superheroes. So to our superheroes in the news, I want to say thank you. Thank you for using your power for the good of us all. We're all a lot safer with you on the front lines. Thank you for arming us with vital information about what's happening in our world. Thank you for shining a spotlight on injustice. And thank you for reminding us that humanity, despite our flaws, is worth protecting. Now, here are the nominees. The nominees for news are Aldea, a border emergency. The team from California State University, Fullerton. Thousands of Central American migrants arrive at the U.S.-Mexico border seeking asylum. We have team coverage from Mexico as tension and protests quickly rise. Center County Report in Puerto Rico. The team from Pennsylvania State University. This island was devastated by Hurricane Maria. The recovery effort is still in full swing today. We've spent nine days here documenting the rebuild of the people and the culture. This program is our chance to share their stories with you. UMTV's News Vision, MSD Massacre, one year later. The team from University of Miami. It's been one year since the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida the deadliest high school shooting in American history, prompting an unprecedented movement for gun reform. Tonight, a look back at what has changed since the shooting. And the winner is Aldea, a border emergency. Aldea, a border emergency. The team from California State University, Fullerton. On behalf of my team of eight people and a wonderful mentor, I'd like to thank the Television Academy Foundation for this opportunity. Let this be a testament to any young people of color who could only imagine reaching Emmy in their 20s, who believe that coming from the bottoms or a non-Ivy League school, it is impossible to make it. It is absolutely important for stories like ours to be told and recognized, especially in times like these, in which a global pandemic on the fronts of health and civil rights display our oppressions, in times where we see journalists who are being arrested and violated of our First Amendment right, let this be a testament to young journalists who will let these stories be told in light of situations that they live in and through. Thank you. I would say create your own work because sometimes uh, it's harder to get people to give you work than to give it to yourself. Always be yourself because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Write what you love. Is if you love it, there's a chance someone else will love it. Do the job you're given as well as you possibly can, better than anybody expects you to do it. Get your real estate license. <laughs> it's a hard life. It's not for everyone because you have to be self-propelling. You have to be a self-starter. Follow your instincts. Don't pretend to know something you don't. Wear comfortable shoes. And be very tenacious. And you know, if you become a very well-established artist and you can make money doing it, better. But if you, if you don't, just keep on doing it. You know, if you, if you really like it, because it fulfills the soul. Just don't underestimate the impact you're having on the world. Someone is learning something about themselves tonight based on the show that you made that, you know, that they'll never forget. Please welcome our next presenter from The Simpsons, now in its 31st season on Fox, Yardley Smith. Hi there, I'm Yardley Smith, and I do the voice of Lisa Simpson, which may or may not have something to do with why they've asked me to present the College Television Award for animation. I don't know, just a guess. How are you? How are you all doing? Are you locked up in quarantine? Are you moving about but all masked up? Wherever you are, however you are, I hope you're well and safe. That's my cat, Zipper. I'm not kidding when I tell you this is the fifth time I've done this. 
and I can't, I just, I can't. Zipper. It's one of the joys of working from home. Just a little brief word about what I love about animation is it has uh, a familiar, great, we call her Grace, no. Zipper, honest to God, is that it has this great familiarity that people come back for over and over again. For instance, I play a character who's eight years old, who every time she has a birthday, she turns eight, and we just don't talk about that. She's worn the same little red strapless dress and string of pearls to school every day for the last 32 seasons. We've lived in the same house without a, like a single picture changing. This ability to freeze the characters as well as your environment in time that makes animation so magical. So for all of you who love this art form, thank you for preserving that tradition. You can also do things in animation that you can't do in real life. Like you can drive your RV off a cliff and still survive. We've done that on The Simpsons quite a few times. Pretty sure you wouldn't get away with that on live action TV. Don't try that at home, kids. Anyway, this is my cat. Great. Never made a video without the cat. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I put on a nice top and some jewelry to do this because this is important. I can't get rid of the cat. The nominees are. The nominees for animation series are. Don't Croak, Dawn Kim, Ringling College of Art and Design. <laughs> Pepito, Sarika Prasad, Kenneth Rosen, School of Visual Arts. YZ, Asher Horowitz, School of Visual Arts. Hi, I'm Z, but I never really chose to be, cause being at the end's not so special for me. From the back of the bus to the back of the class, the last picked in gym and constantly harassed. Okay, are you ready? The winner is, drum roll. You won it! You won it all! Congratulations! Don't Croak, Dawn Kim, Ringling College of Art and Design. I'm extremely grateful, grateful to the Television Academy Foundation for this, for giving me this amazing opportunity and recognizing my work. I never expected to get this much recognition and loved creating this animation. This is really re meaningful and inspiring moment for me as an artist. I'd like to thank my family who supported me and my dream of making animation across the sea in Korea. I also thank my friends and my school ringing college of art and design and everyone who gave me big support and enjoyed my animation. Thank you so much. For our final award of the evening, please welcome from the critically acclaimed series Vita on Stars, Michelle Prada and Melissa Barrera. Hi everyone, Michelle and I are honored to be here in your homes with you tonight, <laughs> especially since we're here to present the capstone award of the evening, the Bricker Humanitarian. Okay, so the word humanitarian can be somewhat daunting, especially these days as we watch so many people rushing to the front lines of a crisis. We can feel like we're not doing enough, but we can because as storytellers, the content we create can change lives. Yes, and that's one reason why we are both so proud of our show, Vida, and the impact that it's had. When you are part of a community like ours that is not only ignored by the dominant culture, but often appropriated both figuratively and in the case of rampant gentrification, literally. Seeing yourself represented in the media can mean everything. You feel seen. 
Yeah, absolutely. And as you embark on your professional careers in the media, whether you're bearing witness to someone's story through nonfiction or news, or making someone laugh through comedy, or blowing our minds with drama or animation, remember that you have the power to affect change and make the world a better place. The Bricker Humanitarian Award, created by philanthropist Seymour Bricker, recognizes young people whose work has done just that. They and the entire foundation want to encourage you to keep using this powerful medium in the best way possible. And the winner is Balloon. Congratulations. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs>Wow, I'm, uh, I'm overwhelmed and so honored. Um, I'm so proud of this film and really the people who have, who came together to help make it with me. Um, uh, it, it means so much to me that this story is being recognized um, by the Bricker Award because uh, it is about being an outsider. It is about somebody who doesn't fit in and it's about finding finding your place in the world. And I think that's the most important thing that we can offer when we're telling stories. We can share that, that, that little bit of life that somebody is going through and uh, share it with an audience. And uh, I hope uh, we can keep doing that. Thank you so much. And that's our show. Thank you all for attending the 2020 College Television Awards. It's been my pleasure to host you tonight. Thank you to all of our talented presenters, as well as our generous partners, especially People, Warner Media, Kia, and the Laureen Arbus Foundation. And of course, a huge thank you to everyone who made a gift to the foundation throughout our program. Know that your contribution will go directly to supporting our nominees tonight and all our extraordinary alumni. If you have not yet donated and would like to, please follow the link below. You have no idea how much we appreciate it. And to all of tonight's nominees and winners, I hope you find a way to celebrate this accomplishment now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. We may have done this in a virtual setting, but those awards are real, and we can't wait to see what you do next. If I can leave you with any advice, let it be this. One pair of pants is plenty. <laughs> Good night.